Hello and welcome to this session about the new DataFX self-service tools, correct purchase order lines manually. This feature will be released in app 10.0.23 and it will be enabled by default underneath the periodic tasks of the procurement and sourcing module. The correct purchase order lines manually form is a self-service feature that allows the administrator users to fix the purchase order lines that having inconsistency between the inventory transactions and the purchase order line quantity. This feature introduced with the objective to reduce the end user pin time until fixing the corruption that might have been caused by a code defect or unexpected updates. Using the correct purchase order lines manually form, the administrator users can recalculate the levy remainder, invoice remainder, and recalculate status directly from the UI and without the need to run data fix scripts through the SQL. The correct purchase order lines manually form is located underneath the procurement and sourcing module, periodic tasks, cleanup section. When you navigate to this form, it will open up with two sections. The first one is the purchase order lines, and it contains the information of the purchase order line like line number, item number, product name, quantity, unit of measure, inventory quantity, line status, and the delivery remainder quantity and the invoice remainder quantity. Here in the lower section, you should find the inventory transactions that related to this specific purchase order line. In case of inconsistency between the purchase order line and the inventory transactions, you can either set and correct the delivery remainder or the invoice remainder directly in these fields, or you can use the recalculate option to recalculate the delivery remainder, invoice remainder, or recalculate status of an individual purchase order line. One of the important assumptions of this form is the system assumes that the inventory transactions are correct. So when the system is recalculating the delivery remainder or the invoice remainder, the system will update the remaining quantity according to the current inventory transactions. So this is an update against the remaining quantity, not the inventory transactions. Also, this feature is supported only for the stocked items. So when it comes to recalculate a non-stockable item, the system will show this message. Recalculation is currently only supported for stocked items. This is for the non-stock or the procurement category. The second assumption is this feature is currently not supported for the catch weight items. And when it comes to a purchase order that running a change management or a workflow, the changes are only supported when the status of the order is approved. So you might encounter this message in case of the purchase order status is in review or draft. Now let's move to a quick demonstration showing how the tool can help in different scenarios like when the user is enabled to cancel the delivery remainder quantity of a purchase order line. So this is a purchase order line of three eaches that have delivery remaining of five eaches. So if I click now cancel quantity, it ends with an error message stating that quantity ordered cannot be reduced because there are not enough open inventory transactions with ordered steps. So if I cancel and navigate to the inventory transactions, we can see here the ordered transactions are only three. So the error message itself is correct as per the intended design. So what the system is trying to do, system is try to cancel five eaches. However, the line has only three inventory transactions with a status order. So this is not possible. So what we can do right now, we can navigate to the correct purchase order lines manually, select the purchase order. You can either update the delivery remainder here to three, which is the correct or supposed to be the correct delivery remaining quantity, or you can use the recalculate option. So I can click here, recalculate delivery remainder, so it will pop up this message, the recalculated delivery remainder for the current line is three and the unit of measure and the quantity of the inventory unit as well. This would be useful in case of you have different unit of measure between the purchase order quantity and the inventory quantity. Do you want to apply these changes? Yes. So go back to the purchase order line right now, refresh, check, the delivery remainder, now the delivery remainder is three. So I can click cancel quantity and now check 
the invented transactions. It have been removed and the order status is canceled. Now let's move to another scenario where some of the purchase order lines still have inventory transactions with the status ordered. However, these purchase order lines either have been fully received, invoiced, or even canceled. So this is a received purchase order that has two purchase order lines. The first one has three each, where the status is canceled. And the second purchase order line has one each, and the status is received. However, our reports showing that this purchase order still have some inventory transactions with the status order. So let's check that. If I check the inventory transaction of the first purchase order line, I can see that this purchase order line has inventory transaction of three each with a status order. However, this is incorrect because this purchase order line is canceled. So it's supposed that this purchase order line shouldn't have invented transaction. And the second purchase order line, if we check this, the second purchase order line has uh, inventory transaction with the status received, which is correct, but also has extra inventory transaction with the status ordered. So how we can remove this inventory transaction with ordered? of post lines. I will think first of the fact of this purchase order line has workflow or no. Because as per the intended design, if the purchase order running change management of or uh, has a workflow, the invented transactions will not be updated unless the purchase order uh, workflow status is approved. So you should consider that. So this is the first point. Since this purchase order does not have a workflow, then let's check the delivery remainder. So if I check the delivery remainder of the first purchase order line, I can see the first purchase order line has no delivery remainder. So if I cancel this, it will not affect the inventory transactions. So what shall I do? I wanted to set the delivery remainder to three in order to be able to cancel these three each. But the problem if I set this to three, it will recreate extra inventory transactions with three each. So this will not fix our issue. Let's try to cancel the deliver remainder here. It will cancel the three. It will reflect the inventory transaction only by this three. So what can I do now? Let's navigate to the correct purchase order lines manually for. And here I can see the inventory quantity of three that link it to the order, the quantity of three. Let's click recalculate of the first line, recalculate the delivery remainder. And here the pop-up message, the recalculated delivery remainder for the current line is three, which is also three inventory units. Do you want to apply these changes? Yes. And I apply the same also for the second line. Recalculate, recalculate delivery remainder. So the Correct quantity is one, okay, yes. You, you will also observe that the line status have been updated for post lines. Let's go back to the purchase order. Now the purchase order status also updated to open order. And the good point is, if I go to the deliver remainder and cancel the deliver remainder now or cancel the quantity, you will see that this is Accordingly, we'll also remove the inventory transactions. And let's check the second line. The second line also is still have it still has two inventory transactions ordered and received. But if I go to the delivery remainder now, cancel the quantity, this will accordingly also cancel or remove the extra inventory transaction with the status ordered, and it will keep only the correct one, which is uh, the received one. One of the good use also of this feature is correcting the unexpectedly updated purchase order line status. Now let's move to another demo and see how we can correct purchase order lines that have incorrectly purchase order status. So this is a purchase order where the status is showing invoiced. However, the purchase order line is showing received. So let's check the inventory transactions first of this purchase order. So this is a purchase order line where the quantity is one each. 
and the inventory transactions i can see uh transaction is one each where the receipt status is purchased so this means that this purchase order line should be invoiced not received so the status of the purchase order header is correct but the line is incorrect so the second point that i'm gonna validate is the delivery remainder and I can see also that the, this purchase order line has no delivery remainder, which is expected. And the last thing is the line quantity. So I can see here that uh, this line has one each received and invoiced as expected. I can see there is no invoice remainder, there is no delivery remainder, so everything should be okay. So this obviously means that the line status is incorrect what we can do in this situation is let's navigate to the correct purchase order lines manually i can see the line status here is received no delivery remainder no invoice remainder what we can do is recalculate the status of this line so the recalculated status for the current line is invoiced do you want to apply this to change yes so after that, let's go back to the purchase order and check that so we can see that the purchase order line status has been corrected to be invoiced as expected. So this was a quick demonstration that showing the capabilities of the new DataFX self-service tools, the correct purchase order lines manually that would be released in app 10.0.23. Thanks for watching. Reach out if I can help. Take care and good luck.